Okay, a final application of vectors looking at points, lines, and planes is the idea of intersections. Okay, so let me define, explain what this means. So we can talk about the intersection of a line and a plane. That means the following. Suppose I've got, in three dimensions, I've got a plane, like this, and I've got a line as well. So here's a line goes up behind the plane, and at some point here, it crosses the plane. Okay? So the point at which it crosses the plane is known as the point of intersection. Okay? So this point here is the point of intersection. Okay? And we can also talk about something called the angle of intersection, which is the minimum angle between the line and the plane, something like this. This angle here is theta. Okay. Then this is the angle of intersection. Okay, so how can we calculate these two things? How can we calculate the point of intersection? Let me call it P. And how can we calculate the angle of intersection theta? Okay. So you've got the equations for the lines and the planes. So the line is x is equal to a1, say, plus lambda v1, where v is a vector on the line and so on. And you've also got the equation of the plane, which can be in various forms. Um, let's take as an example. This one, x dot n equals a2. So this is a different point. This is a point on the line. This is a point on the plane, dot n. Okay. To find the point of intersection, you need to solve these equations simultaneously. Simultaneously for x. So in other words, find a vector x which satisfies both of these equations, and that will be the point of intersection. Okay. So you do this to find the point of intersection p. Okay. You can also calculate the angle of intersection because we know the normal to the plane. The normal to the plane is like this, n. Okay. And you can see that the angle between v and n here is just 90 minus theta. So in other words, we have that the angle between v and n is 90 minus theta. Okay. But we know how to calculate angle using the scalar product. We know that n dot v is length n, length v times the cosine of the angle between them. So this means that cos of 90 minus theta is equal to n dot v. If we choose the angle to be um, less than 180 degrees, then you should always take the absolute value here, okay, divided by the length of n, length of v. Okay. And cos of 90 minus theta is the same as sine theta. Okay. So you get the final result. Sine theta is n dot v over n times the length of v. Cos of 90 minus theta is the same as sine theta, right? Look at the graph. This is cos, okay? and this point is 90. So cos of 90 minus theta is the same as sine of theta. Right? If I start from here, when I go minus, then I get the sine graph. Like this. Okay, so that's the formula for the angle of intersection. Let me just do a quick example. 
suppose that I've got the line x is 2, 2, 1 plus lambda 1, 1, 2. And I've got the plane 3x minus 2y plus c equals 1. Okay. So from here we get some numbers. So a1 is the point on the line. So a1 is 2, 2, 1. v1 is the vector along the line. So that's 1, 1, 2 n is the normal to the plane, and you can see that this is x dot 3 minus 2, 1. So n is 3 minus 2, 1. Okay. And a is only point of the plane, but you don't need to know that. Right, so we need to satisfy these two equations together to find the point of intersection p. So, the line equation we can write in this way, x, y, z equals, from here, 2 plus lambda, 2 plus lambda, 1 plus 2 lambda. Okay, and the plane says that x, y, z dot 3 minus 2, 1 should be equal to 1. Now I can just put this into here. Then I get 2 plus lambda, 2 plus lambda, 1 plus 2 lambda, dot 3 minus 2, 1, should be equal to 1. So this is 3 times 2 plus lambda, minus 2 times 2 plus lambda, plus 1 plus 2 lambda, equals 1, which is 3 minus 2 plus 2 is 3 lambda, 6 minus 4 plus 1 is plus 3 is 1. Yep. Which means that lambda is minus 2 over 3. And then finally, I just put this back into this equation for x, y, and z. So 2 plus lambda is 4 thirds. And 1 plus 2 lambda is minus a third. Okay, so the equation of the point P is this. Okay, and if you want to check, you can just quickly check that it satisfies this equation here. Okay, so this times that is 4 thirds minus a third equals 1, which is right. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so next we have to find the angle of intersection. So you can do that using this formula. Um, Okay, so I've done it. So here's V, here's N. Just put it in this formula to find theta. I don't think I need to do that for you. Okay. So another kind of intersection you can have is the intersection between two planes. Okay, so if I try and draw that, I have one plane which looks something like this. And I have another plane, which is something like this. Oh, sorry, I've drawn that a bit skewed. Anyway. Okay, so you see that here I've got two planes. Okay, and they intersect along some line like this. That's where the two planes meet. So the place where the two planes meet is called the line of intersection. Okay. And the angle between the two planes here, theta, is again called the angle of intersection. So how can we find these two things? Okay, so maybe it's just best if I do it with an example. Okay. Okay, so here are the equations of two planes. x minus y plus c is 4. And 3x minus 4z 
is 1. Okay, so I need to find the intersection and the angle of intersection of these two planes. Right, so to find the line of intersection, the first thing you need to do is find a point on both planes. That gives you A here. Okay, so that just means find a solution of both of these things together. Okay. So if I try and satisfy this one, a solution of this one is x equals 3 and z equals 2. Right, so then I get 9 minus 8 is 1. Then if I look at the solution here, this gives me 3 minus y plus 2 equals 4. So 5 minus y is 4. So that means y should be equal to 1. Okay. So that's a, a solution of both. Let's just check. 3 minus 1 plus 2 is 4. Yes. 3 times 3 minus 4 times 2 is 1. Yes. Okay. So that's a point on the line. So next you need to find the vector along the line, v, like this. So an easy way of finding the vector along the line is to use the vector product of both normals to the plane. So maybe I'll have to draw this again. If I've got the two planes here, this one and this one here, okay, so there's the line of intersection. So this first plane the horizontal one has a normal pointing up this, and so this is n1. The second plane, this one, has a normal which is pointing like this, n2. You can see if you take the cross products of the two normals, n1 cross n2, then you get a line which is parallel to the line of intersection, right? a vector which is parallel to the line of intersection n1 cross n2, because it must be perpendicular to both of these. Okay. So for the vector v pointing along the line, you can take v is equal to the cross product of the two normal vectors of the planes. Okay. So we need to find one of the normal vectors. And you can find them from here. So this one is 1 minus 1, 1. And this one is 3, 0, minus 4. Okay, so then we get 1 minus 1, 1. 3, 0, minus 4. Which is 4. Seven, three. Okay. Yep, that looks okay. So that's that. So then we get the line of intersection. X is a plus lambda v. So this is three one two plus lambda four seven three. Okay. So that's the equation of the line of intersection. Next, we have to find the angle of intersection. And this also you can do using the normals, because you can see from here the angle of intersection, theta, is the same as the angle between the normals, theta. Okay. So the angle of intersection is just equal to the angle between the normals, And we know that this means we can write it in terms of the scalar product. Okay, so let's work this out. n1 dot n2. That's this dot that. So that's 3 minus 4, which is 1. The length of n1 squared is 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is 3. 
therefore length of n1 is square root of 3 and the length of n2 squared is 9 plus 16 which is 25 so the length of n2 is 5 so therefore we get that cos theta is this 1 divided by this times this 5 root 3 so if you want to work that out on the calculator and here's my calculator and you will get 1 divided by 5 divided by square root of 3 is that and inverse cos 83.4 degrees so the angle between these two planes here is 83.4 degrees and the line of their intersection is given by this